What is that? Vic Garrison Pawn and Loan. I saw you. What the hell? Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games 2 kicks and welcome back to Alpha 16, 7 days to die, or 7 days to die, Alpha 16, whichever way around. I'm all over the shop, I just played a couple of episodes of my Nomad series and it's so hard to switch from game to game, especially if you're at both games in the beginning, because I don't know anymore what's happening where. But, we had problems in the last night and we just about made it back up, so we're gonna continue and I'm also reading through your comments and you guys are full of good ideas. I don't think I'm gonna remember all of them, but we're gonna do some of the things that you're mentioning because they really sound like a good idea. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now what a lot of you were actually saying in the comments is that we definitely should be doing um, cobblestones. We always should be crafting. We should be taking the house apart. We should be making sure that we're always doing th something. And you also were telling me about... Ooh, ooh. Hello? You also were telling me about the farm that now when the dirt is not hold, that there's absolutely no point of actually uh, seeding the plants because you just get back what you're seeding, which I didn't know because I thought that you get back two for one but when you hoe it, it's three or five to one, depending on what it is you're seeding or what you're planting. So that was one of the things that I that I didn't understand right. We also, we actually, we have a lot of wood. We're gonna get more wood taking the house apart, but what is more important is that we're gonna get a lot of rocks and a lot of clay because we want to build our own place as well. Now, we are actually in the vicinity here of a lot of rocks, so we're gonna go up here. I don't think there's actually any zombies here. Oh, there's one over there, but it shouldn't be a problem. We should be okay. Another thing that you guys were mentioning that if I'm using um, a lot of melee, like the reinforced club and all that, that I should go with some pommel peat. And that makes absolute sense. You're absolutely correct. Let's see, we have six points in the moment. So if we look at our weapon smithing and tools machine, we can't do anything anyway. So Viper and Kamal is up. And Sexy Saurus is very important, but it's already up as well. So the next thing would be probably pommel peat. Now, another person was saying that, oh yeah, entity damage 5.6. Okay, let's see. We're currently doing what damage? Currently we're doing 6.71. If we take Pumble Pete, we are doing now 7.09. Very good. Hello, sir. Hello. Don't you shake yourself off. Oh, I'm talking to you. Come on. I like the way they have the hands stretched out. It's like so scary. It's like, oh my God, holy balls. <laughs> Mark. They are really loud. They are really loud. They are so scary though, aren't they? Okay, let's see if we get a bone or something from them. Okay, we're gonna have to destroy them though. Okay, you know what? We're gonna wait until he destroys himself. We're gonna get some stone, some clay, and we have no light on us. So that should be okay though. Like, I mean, you guys can see I put the gamma up. We're still infectinated, but that's okay as well. I'm sure we're gonna find something. So the aim today is is just to get really good, good prepared because I have a feeling that for the first horde night we're going to be staying pretty much here, okay? So this will be our first place because there is so much more to explore. We have a whole nother town down here that we have to explore and there could be all sorts of POIs that we need to loot. So what I don't want to do is get to day five and realize all we did was loot and we didn't prepare at all for the horde. So I want to set up, get a lot of uh, cobblestone made because we want to make flagstone, we want to upgrade the cobblestone and make a proper farm, get the hole, get into, straight away into making a forge. That would be pretty awesome. So there we go, there's our little dude now. Look at that, he's all grown up now. Yes, thank you. Give me some rewards. If you hear some droning in the background, it's the concert, it's still on. It's gonna be on all weekend, which is a bit of a pain in the ass for me. But I'm telling you, you can't hear what they're doing anyway, so it shouldn't be any copyright music on that stuff in the background. Genie Mark, that would be it. Like the awful, awful, awful singing in the background, giving me copyright music, even if I didn't want it. Genie Mac. I think we got another big guy there in the distance. We're gonna take care of him. So let's uh, queue up a couple of cobblestones. There we go. Because that will also, I think that levels up our, it levels up something, does it? No? Not necessarily. Anyway, another thing that I want to mention, I know that in the last couple of days, and you probably for the next couple of days, will have a lot of days where you only have seven days to die. It doesn't mean I quit secondary content. It's I am trying to record secondary content, uh, sorry, uh, my holiday content. People are getting confused. I wasn't on holiday last uh, two weeks ago. I was on a long weekend. I was on a weekend. That was it. So um, if you have any questions, so, you know, hit me up on Twitter. 
and I will try to answer whatever I can. Now, um, so I'm doing a lot of uh, uh, main content, the mini series, the Nomad mini series for the holidays, which is gonna take up all my time. And because this is all recordings that I can't publish yet and they're taking up so much time, I can't really do secondary content. I even delaying all the uh, a lot of things like there's Alan Wake I'm delaying because Alan Wake takes two three hours to record depending how long the episode is and I do want to record the whole episode and then cut it up because the I hate these type of games when you play them and you play 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes because it takes every time you play again a while to get back into it so you might as well do a whole episode to get the story again and also get used to the controls and it's also very hard to judge if you don't know the game um, how much is left so you could be saying oh 25 minutes is enough but all of a sudden there's only six minutes minutes left so that's why I kind of made my mind up about these type of games that I play if they're episodic to play the full episode through and then do the editing afterwards so Alan Wake will continue um, we're also gonna go back to Animalica uh, to have at least one more look at it with the building system in it um, which looks very interesting we are also continuing to play Last Day on Earth I think the one game that I will have a secondary content until I go on holidays will probably be Last Day on Earth because for me it's very easy to play I'm really enjoying it I'm having a lot of fun and they have an update soon as well so i can't wait so that is something that will definitely continue as secondary content and if the update is going to be awesome as pvp we might even try to hook up with some other youtubers if that is possible on the same server and see if we can play shenanigans that would be absolutely awesome as well anyway i just thought i'm gonna update you guys with that i know a few weeks ago i have asked you guys to send me questions for q a but i don't even have time to do that yet at, at that point so again if you have questions you know hashtag g4k q and a or qa g4k qa I will look for that hashtag and I will find you guys and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna answer all your questions. I will do a video after the holidays, not straight away when I'm back, but I will after my holidays and then we're gonna talk about that. So again, sorry again for all the delays. It's just been absolutely crazy in the moment. So I just thought I'd get that out because I don't really vlog and I'm repeating myself now. So um, I just wanted you guys to know that I haven't forgotten. So any questions you have about anything, hit me up on Twitter. Well, that was interesting. So, um, there was a nurse coming by, and as you can see, the nurse is eating my balls right now. So, um, yeah, she came by. I didn't get hit, but I didn't have time to press record. And I was using my arrows, and I was hitting her a couple of times with a stick. You know, I was having stamina, no problem. And, um, well, she started running around in circles. Just away, circle, coming back, not hitting me. Away, circle, away, cut. It's like, what the balls? She didn't even focus on me. She she was like, not coming for me. She came towards me, then run back, circle. So I had to come to her because I didn't know what she was going to be doing. Yeah, so I had to come to her and then she was completely random. So I had a real hard time trying not to get hit. So I don't know, there's definitely some odd thing. I don't know if the problem is pathing or aggro. If you don't know what aggro is, and you, I don't know, I, lo I know it from the World of Warcraft days, but if you don't know what aggro is, it's basically um, when you get uh, focus from the enemy. It's like to make sure they attack you. And I don't know if there's something wrong with the aggro these guys are uh, managing, um, the zombies, with the algorithm for that, or if it is um, the pathing system. I don't know if it's trees that are causing problems, because she came towards the tree and started running circles in front of the tree. And every time I tried to go close to her and hit her, I missed her, of course, because she was just so erratically behaving. And eventually, when I stepped back, I was like, okay, what's going on? She all of a sudden attacked. It's really, really difficult to... Um, trying to hit something that is so erratic. Damn it. Why did... I really wish they could uh, remember which slot they were in and just do it. That would be absolutely fantastic. There we go. Oh, I can hear her. I hear you. Where are you now? I want my revenge. Where are you? Come on. I can hear her, but I can't see her. Okay. Fair enough, lady. I'm gonna have to keep an eye kind of there. There she is. I can see her now. You probably can't see her because it is a bit dark, guys. I already turned up the gamma to 135. If I turn it up any more, you actually will get too bright. So let's do that. Let's get her attention again and see what she does this time. Because that's what I was doing. I hit, her with, I hit her with the arrow then, and all of a sudden she went completely bananas. Oh, that was close. That must have been close. Let's see. I don't want to go too close either. There we go. You see, she comes towards me. 
Oh no, she's... I don't know. Okay, I don't know where she's actually running off to. She's standing over there now and stopped running. And now she's running to the right. What is she... And she's standing there. I don't know what the story is with these guys. Anyway, we got some goodies from her. So yeah, they're still a bit weird. It's actually scarier when they don't come for you, when they just circle kind of in front of you because you don't know what they're gonna do next. It's kind of all in shrouded in mystery. So I'd rather see a guy come right at me because I kind of mentally, you know, can prepare <laughs> a little bit at least. Okay, where's more rocks? There's more rocks over there. Okay, very good. No zombies. Very nice. I like it. Zombie free area. The word has gone around that somebody's slaying them. And running zombies are a thing of last night. It's now four o'clock, so no more running zombies. Very good. It's nice and refreshing. It's actually a nice pace when you record a couple of Nomad always running zombies. And then you go back to this, you kind of get very cocky. Because you kind of go like, yeah, they're not running. You know, everything's easy. And then you find yourself dead on the ground, you know, with your balls being shot off. And you wonder, how did that happen? I just played like a god, like against running zombies. And... Now I just can't even do anything right. What is happening with my life? <laughs> it's like this just this just does not seem right on so many levels. Let's pick up these things and let's head upstairs. Now where's our little funny farm, our little makeshift wannabe farm? Is that something we put down here? I don't even remember where you put it down. Do you know that? I have no clue. I don't remember anything at all whatsoever. But we have a wrench, so we're going to wrench this car. Because it gives us leather and it gives us other things that we can try out. And we want to see what we're going to get. Maybe we get lucky and get an engine and a battery and this is taking forever. So do you know what? I'm not going to do this. It's taking forever. It's like seven per hit. No way. Thank you. Oh, man. Probably because I'm so weak, which is fine. Oh, we have a piece of ladder here. Very nice. Always prepared. Very good. Thank you. Now, this is what I was taking apart and uh, trying just to get a little bit of wood and level up our construction skill, skill, which you guys said is a very good way to actually be useful during the night. You know, like crafting cobblestone and um, working on your base, you know, on your first uh, kind of house. Okay, so I think we have everything now. So let's put that away. And let's put all these things away. Look at the shenanigans. Very nice. Okay, we're going to have to keep a little bit of wood, I would say. And all right, let's keep that. And we need to keep a little bit. I actually had an antibiotic here and I could have used it. So I definitely didn't kill myself to get healed. That's definitely not a thing. Now, we might want to take that for a splint. Do we have a splint? Because we should probably make sure that we make a splint there we go because i find them very very important these days when you get hit by zombies let's eat all of these as well and actually let's drink some water and make some more um yucca fruit there we go very nice i like it we eat another one and then we can make six or whatever eight eight five i don't know four Nice. All right, so I'm going to get prepared and then we're going to head out and see what we can find further down this road. We're going to head south. We're going to head down this road here to see what the second town is about. Um, I don't think there was any big, big things in the first town here except for the fire thing, whatever that was. The fire department. We're going to check that out another day because the fire department is pretty big and I just want to see if there's any obvious POIs, like, you know, any... Um, where you can medicine or something like that, or food, and... Oh, look at the size of that. Holy balls. That is gigantic. Yeah, we probably should kill some zombies as well. They give us some experience. Let's actually see how much experience we get from a zombie when we kill him. So we are now at... Um, you can see the number four on the top left. We are about exactly at quarter past. Oh, look at that, and now we're 10 past. So you do get a good chunk of experience still for zombies. Well, at this early stage anyway, so it's definitely worth it. Genie Mac, we're picking up a lot of bird's nests here, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Is there another one? You don't escape me. 
Just trying to hide their lie on the ground. I'm blending in. Look at that. I'm also all brownish colored like the grass around me. Yeah, except you look like a bird's nest. Ah, oh, yes, that's exactly why I blot. Why I blot. This is why I blot the uh, clot, the clot fragment. <laughs> Genie marker balls. There we go. Just to make ducky tape. That's exactly why I brought it. This is a lovely area. Holy balls. This is insane. Okay, come on. And one more. Nice. Love it. Oh, antibiotica bread. This is a big town. So we have a town over... Th wow, that is a third town. Because down here is a town. Holy balls. Genie. Mac. That is insane. Wow. Okay, let's go over here first because that is closer. And we also need to hunt some animals. That would be good because we need some meat. There was a deer hopping about there a second ago. Let's see if we can still find it. Oh, Hawaiian dude. Hawaiian dude is dangerous, man. Oh, there's the deer. Ah, come on, a little bit higher. Oh, a little bit higher. Genie, man. Okay, here we go, more feathers. And more feathers, holy balls. Look at that feather extravaganza. A feather vanza, I think. Oh, okay, the reason it didn't die when we keep, kept shooting it is because, um, well, it wasn't a deer, as you can see. <laughs> oh man, I see you. Okay, I just want to keep it cash, okay? Relax a bit. There you go. Just keep it all on the up and up. A little bit of cash. A little casual. Is that how the kids talk these days? Oh, hello, Nursey. I had one of your sisters there. You have a heart noggin. I hit you like 14 times in the foreface, but I probably had no stamina. And now you just go down. Look at that. Go, get out of the way. You're tripping. My bag. There we go. Ooh, nice. I Oh, look at that. We gotta repair that and see what that is about. Nice. First aid kit. Um, yeah, okay. Let's scrap that. <laughs> see what we have here. Oh, another. That's really, really good. I like it. Is that actually a tent or is that just. Ah, you're asleep. Oh, whoa. Something exploded. That was not cool. Oh, give me a heart attack. Okay, you got nothing. Now, don't spawn anything behind me, dude. Okay, I checked the area. There's nothing to be behind me. Oh man, this is a big town. I have a feeling this is a big bookstore there, guys. That white building. Oh, loot that first. Oh, nice. That white building over there that you can see here. I think that's a bookstore. Did I loot this one? No, I didn't. Can't believe I didn't loot the tree stump. All right, all right. He wants us to leave us alone. Now let's head down here, to get back into our city, which I thought was this, into our town to make sure that we have all our ducks in a row and see what buildings are there. Holy balls, I nearly stepped on it. I'm freaking out. I'm just running along here, hitting this piece of metal, and boom, look at that. There it is, right there. I don't want to test it, but I'm pretty sure. Can we, can we throw a stone at it, and will it go off? That would be awesome. Let me see. Let's go in the back here. <laughs> Let's see if we can throw it. It definitely is stopping in front of it. I just want to see if it explodes. No, it doesn't explode, but I bet you if I step on it, it will go kaboom. So we definitely watch out for those holy balls. Oh, is this a bunker? No. Oh, we haven't seen one of those in ages. Let me see. It's a bunker. Nice. But you know what? We're not going to go in there now because we want to see what the story is with the buildings here. We have a bus by a grocery store, a passing gas. Nice. Oh, the, oh, what the hell? What is that? Vic Garrison, Pawn and Loan. I saw you. What the hell? Okay, doggy, you've been... Doggy, you've been annoying. There we go.
There we go. Nice! Right in the balls. Never worried about a thing. We also repaired that club, which is now giving us a little bit more damage at 7.26, which is really, really nice. Okay, he doesn't agree. He's like, no, 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 no. That is not how it happened. I saw it happening. That's not how it No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man, I don't know what we're doing later. Today's Saturday, so I'm not officially streaming. I'm recording, but I might actually pop in later and we play some pup, uh, pup cheat, some pug, pug B. Some battlegrounds, let's just call it that. That would be pretty awesome. Mechanical parts, really nice. We're gonna take some of that as well with us. And let's look, look, look at this place. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen a place like this before. This is the very first time. What the hell is that? Berserker builds. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean. And what is that? Holly, okay, let's, let's just finish it. Okay, this wrench is really, really bad. I don't think I wanna use a wrench like that. It's terrible. It's awful. It's like, look at this. We get nothing from it. Even... Ah! It seems that when we jump, it loses interest. Oh, shit. I jumped right in front of it. Your mother of balls! I missed it at the moment. I got such a fright. The moment I missed it, I knew I'm going to die. On this note, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming. Holy mother of testicles. We'll go back there. We're gonna throw this ro Oh, hello. We're gonna throw the padlock in this stupid dog's face. I'm gonna get our backpack. I have stones on me now. I'm gonna throw it at him. <laughs> okay, there's my backpack. I don't think the dog is there. Oh. Okay, we don't need these guys. Okay. 